Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Tuesday night, the Mets lost their sixth straight game, falling in Milwaukee 3 to 2. Mets had a 2 to 1 lead yeah. in this game. John Neese on the mound, but the Brewers rallied for a run in the sixth and a run in the seventh to win. I just want to give up the least amount of runs as possible, keep the team in the game. And, um, you know, I felt that. Um, you know, these past few games that uh, the team's always had a chance to to come off with a win. It's just unfortunately we haven't been able to finish it up. It's becoming a uh, common theme right now. We're you know we're pitching with our starting pitching is keeping us in games, giving us chances, and we can't mount an attack. Um, so yeah, it gets a little frustrating for everybody, including the pitchers, and um, you know. But it's you know it's one, the one thing we got going for us is you know we're in games so. If we ever break out and start getting some hits, you know, we'll win some games. I don't think about our offense when I'm pitching. <laughs> um, you know, our, our offense is going to turn it around, I have a feeling. Um, you know, but when I'm out there in a jam, I'm worried about executing a pitch. You know, we hit early today. We hit in the cages. We hit before the games. We hit after the games. We, uh, you know, we've got scouting reports that won't quit. And... We gotta go execute. And the big uh, run in the seventh, Hansel Robles walked Carlos Gomez, and then a double by Adam Lynn off the left-handed Gil Martin, misplayed by Kadir in left field, allowing Gomez to score the go-ahead run. Again, uh, not a lot of Mets offense. Starting pitching was pretty solid. Uh, mistakes in the field, and it's costing them in, the, in these uh, low-scoring games. Mets got a run in the second on a Curtis Granderson home run. It's 10th of the year, hit it up in the second deck. Second in three games for Granderson. They got a run without a hit in the fourth, but no hits after the third inning. And, and it's, it's a lot of the same stuff is that you see some early hitting by the Mets, but after that, it really just slows down. It's, it's been like a groundhog day every day. It seems like they make enough mistakes to lose, um, and uh, that's why they've lost six in a row. If I wait back on that ball, Two things can happen. One, it can miss the the jet out and go straight to the wall, or Carlos Gomez probably beats it anyway. So I got to get right on the wall, and you hope for a good hop. Um, unfortunately, off the brick or the cement, it took a bad hop. Nobody yell at. You know, it's about you know going out there and actually getting the job done and have being. And you're, you know, they're major league players. They have some confidence. You know, if, if there if there was lack of hustle. Lack of preparation, lack of, uh, you know, then there's something to yell at, something to yell about. But that's not that's not out there. Uh, we're just not we're just not executing the way we should be should be able to at this level. Mets have scored just eight runs in those six losses, and they've fallen back to 500 for the first time since they were three and three to start the year. They'll try and get a victory on Wednesday night with Bartolo Colon on the mound. 7 o'clock, the coverage from Miller Park right here on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.